Hey guys, so I told you I'd show you how to make the sweater pumpkin. Um, so this is how I do it. So I went to the Dollar Tree and I bought two of these styrofoam orange pumpkins. They are hollow inside. They did not have any white ones. I wish they did, but they didn't. So I decided to paint it white. So I just got some paint from the Dollar Tree and I'm just painting them white. Um, I did the first coat before I made the video so that you guys didn't have to, you know, wait until it was dry. Um, I did, I do hit it with the blow dryer just because it is, um, a lot faster to dry when you blow dry it. It takes like a couple minutes, not even, uh, to dry. Uh, before I started painting, I did cut the top off. So the top has like a little stem with a toothpick coming out of it. And I did cut that off. Um, and I also painted that the first coat white. So here I am blow drying. It's going to take a couple minutes. And then you'll see that I don't really think it's completely covered. So I'll do a little bit more. Um, it doesn't really matter. It is going to be covered with the sweater. I just didn't. I was afraid a little bit of orange would show through. Um, it didn't. So I had nothing to worry about. But I don't know. Just like to be safe and sorry. So I just hit it again. And then I'll blow dry it with the blow dryer again. And Honestly, it takes like two minutes to to dry if you are blow drying it. <clears throat> so after I did that, um, I also wanted to paint the top. I didn't paint the one yesterday that I did, but I decided to paint this one just in case. Yesterday I did have to put a little bit more burlap on the top so that the green and the orange didn't come through. So I just decided to save myself the hassle of putting more burlap. So that stuff that I have coming out of the stem, it's just some wire that I bought. Um, you can get anywhere, it's like to hold flowers up. Um, so I went and picked out the sweater. I cut off the sleeves and I cut the, uh, what is that called? The little, the little part at the end that goes around your wrist. I cut that off as well. Um, I took the sleeve and really stretched it. Um, as you'll see here, it didn't fit the first time, so I had to go back and just really stretch it out. And I'm just pulling it with my hands. I didn't do anything fancy to stretch it. That's all I did. So I pulled it um, around the pumpkin, just making sure that there's enough um, fabric that will fit into the hole. I cut off any excess fabric that I had. because the rest is going to go in the hole anyway, but you don't want like a ton just because you do have to put, you know, if you wanted, cause I mean, you could put anything in there like leaves or anything that you wanted. So just so that it's not bunchy inside. Um, and then you take your hot glue and you just glue around the hole and you bunch your sweater in the top. Takes a few minutes. Be sure you don't burn yourself cause it is hot. I did a couple times. <clears throat> and then you flip it over and you do the top same deal you're just putting the glue shoving the sweater in the hole I don't know why but I love these they just turned out so adorable I never made them before this is the first time um, I seen somebody else do it honestly on YouTube so I just decided to try it and it worked out great I love them so much um, so finishing it up, making sure that's pushed in, you want it, you want it to look a little bit tight, like it's fitted to the pumpkin, so it's not baggy. And then I went ahead and I will, um, cut my burlap. Now this is a big roll of burlap. I honestly don't even remember where I got it. It could have been the dollar store. I'm sure they have some. Or Michaels or something I think it might have been the dollar store though and you just wrap it around um, the stem and you're just hot gluing as you go and there's no real way to do it I just I didn't want it to look like perfect I kind of wanted to look a little bit rusticky and and crazy the stem kind of so I just kind of went with the flow and I just twisted it around that metal um, 
wire that I stuck through the top of the pumpkin, cut it off, and just basically hot glued it at the end. Um, I will fix that up after the video, um, just like the end there. I'll just cut it so it's a little bit more cleaner, but yeah, that's just, I just love the way it looks. So I'll take my ribbon. You can use whatever ribbon you want. I had some cute little pumpkin ribbon, so I decided to use that. I had um, some little burlap ribbon that I use and some twine. I decided to use the three. I know on the one I did yesterday, I just used the two, but today's, I just decided to go with the the three and there's no real me measurements to this they can be as long as short as you want I just kind of cut what I had I cut it in three and just made a whole bunch of little dangles um, I didn't tie it in any way I kind of just shaped them out so that they weren't kind of overlapping uh, with the same ribbon and then twisted it in the middle and then I ran out of glue, so I had to get a glue stick. There we go. And then, yeah, I just kind of put them there so that they dangle over to the side, just securing them with a little bit of that hot glue. Again, the stem's gonna go on, so it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to look all fancy. I covered the top with hot glue, pushed the stem through with that, um, toothpick and the wire that's there I played with the ribbon a little bit to flip it over to make sure that it wasn't like upside down and voila there is your sweater pumpkin I love them they're so cute thanks for watching guys